Thank you for joining us on Data Cloud Now, where we bring you the latest in all things data in business and industry. I'm Ryan Green, and I'm joined by Matt Bain, CMO of Spark NZ. Matt, so great to have you on the program today. Great to be here, Ryan. You know, Matt, as CMO of New Zealand's largest telecommunications and digital services company, what unique trends in your region are you noticing? Clearly, I mean, talking to you, so data is a big thing. Um, everyone's got excited by generative AI, but, but actually where we see the most interest in businesses is the commercial drivers that are starting to appear for large businesses around data, you know, cloud, cloud-based data storage, and um, data as an asset has been a concept as we talked about a lot, but not many businesses have actually demonstrated the ROI behind it. So that's really where we're pushing with our clients um, and our own businesses. How do we demonstrate and realize benefits quickly using data and, and AI? You know, I absolutely love your purpose, Matt, to help all of New Zealand win big in a digital world. You know, to bring it back to you, how are you using data to do just that? Yeah, so it's um, telco is an interesting business because in any in any given year, um, the addressable market might only be ten percent of the total market, right? It's not like groceries where people are shopping every two weeks. So, so as a marketer, um, if one percent of your audience is in market every month, then you're wasting ninety nine percent of your ad budget, and that's quite disturbing for someone like me. So, for us, it's really how do we the starting the starting point for us was how could we make our advertising feel like a service, so it wasn't cluttering people's inboxes up but it felt useful and, and so we really started by predicting the needs of our customers initially around advertising uh, and promotion but but that stretches across the entire customer experience so how do we start to anticipate the needs of customers turn up with them when they need us leave them alone when, when they don't and so that's really been the, the starting point for us in terms of monetizing data ai and some of the capabilities that snowflake gives us the flexibility to use platforms like that in the cloud you know, I want to bring it back to, to Spark and specifically what you're doing, um, you know, on your recent launch of Brain. You know, to start with, can you give a quick overview for the audience on what Brain is and, and Matt, why you decided to build this? Brain is a name given to a product we built by the squad that built us. We're, we're, we're an agile business. Uh, the Brain Squad uh, stands for Build Robust AI for Next Best Action. So really riffing back to the point I was making about our market, how have we predicted who's in market today? We started with a single use case, a single machine learning model that could predict um, when customers are in market for a certain product. Um, that was cool. We, we 10x returns on our, our ad spend on the back of that or the investment we we're doing in, in promotions. And as we progressed along multiple use cases, we ended up with like 50 models in market, wow. all looking at our base in real time, all. Um, and, and, and because they're running on separate campaigns, separate offers um, for individual households or, or individuals, no human could manage the complexity of 50 machine learning models managing you know, millions of lines of right. customer data in real time. So they need some help is, along uh, the way. <laughs> we need something, something we call brain. So it's a, it's a reinforced learning um, AI capability that we built in-house, which um, Basically, it's a huge multivariate testing engine that can across every single individual household um, offer and channel decide the next best action in real time for our customers. And so that's that's been um, a capability that as we've built and scaled has surprised us and that it's paid back CapEx in a year. So if we spend 10 million in a year, we get cash back in a year and every year after that for the investment. And the next step is, you know, those 50 models we initially tuned ourselves um, or built and tuned, the next generation of brain creates its own models, right? So you remove the, the heavy lifting of data scientists away from um, the creation and execution of these kinds of models in the market. You know, Matt, so great to hear, you know, the bottom line impact that brain is having, but to create something like this, what are the tools and the platforms needed to create a product like brain? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's the right question. You, you absolutely have to have the fundamental infrastructure in place to get started, right? So um, we are lucky that we, we started to transition to cloud as a business years ago, um, and we've installed world-class infrastructure. So not just um, batched data ingestion, but real-time data ingestion. Obviously, we've got Snowflake as our as our hub for data, our data warehouse. And then on top of that, we can set up applications that Python are all the usual kinds of 
um, capabilities over the top of that to be able to make sure that the, the flexible ingestion and structuring of the data um, can be used by you know, the state-of-the-art tools that we need to develop the sorts of models we're talking about. You know, I love it. I would love to get the the impact and the response that you've seen from other telco providers. I know you don't want to go too much into the details of your competitors, but would love to hear kind of what the conversations have been from them throughout this process. Because I, when, when I when I look at Brain, I think massive impact here. Yeah, that, that's what surprised us. So the first thing which um, companies I talk to are interested in is, is how does this return and we initially aim for a 10x improvement in metrics. So for advertising conversions, you get metric, right? What surprised us is we got to 20x relatively quickly, right? So that was far beyond what we imagined. We also realized that once you build this capability and you have a flexible stack that allows you to move quickly, um, you can cover a lot of ground, right? So we were paying back CapEx in year. So for every million of CapEx investment, Invested, that was, was in year cash flow generated off the back of that, that equal or exceeded the investment we put in. So that was also surprising and really interesting. Um, and we've seen over the last two years that it also has improved market share and totally EBIT for the company. So, you know, over 1% market share gain in our market is a big deal. And that's attributed just to brain. So the beauty of this is we attribute outcomes at an interaction level. So there's no guesswork here. We're holding a control group and every single action that Brain has on every single customer is attributed at the customer level. So that's how we're measuring it. So the precision of measurement plus the speed of returns is what surprised us and what most people are really interested to hear about. You know, an exciting time for Spark. I'm looking forward uh, to, to see what's coming next. You know, from your standpoint, Matt, you know, what will your primary focus be over the coming months to years down the line? So we've now, we've now essentially, what Brain does is it, it's created a digital twin of our marketing environment in some respects, right? So it's monitoring what competitors are doing, it's monitoring price sensitivity and things like that at a household level, it's understanding what offers are working, what services people need. Um, so that's a modeling of the demand side of the organization. So now we're looking at how do you take that capability and start to drive uh, data driven decisioning through the whole, right? So back into our network, our supply chain, our people management. So it's exactly the same um, approach of optimization, but applying that to new fields. So it's really what we've done is we've, we've built a stable backbone of you know, I love it. It's, you know, everyone collectively collaborating as one to, as a result, driving impact for your clients day in and day out. I absolutely love it, Matt. Um, you know, how can the audience learn more about what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis in Spark NZ collectively? So clearly spark.co.nz is our website, so you can go there and we've got an investor site. I think, you know, we're starting to call out in our, in our investor reports now. We had managed call this week and what you'll start to see is more and more discussion around how we're using data and our infrastructure because it's seen as um, a source of competitive advantage for us in the future um, to serve our customers better, but also drive efficiencies in the business. So I think you'll, you'll only hear about it more from, from Spark as we move forward. Matt, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining me on Data Cloud Now. Great to be here. Thank you. For the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green. We'll see you soon.